Hi students, now coming to the next topic, binary search. There are two types of searching techniques. What are they? Linear search and binary search. In the previous video, you have studied about linear search. In this video, let us see about binary search. Okay. So the linear search and binary search are the searching techniques. What is the difference between linear search and binary search? The difference is in linear search, we don't need to give array in the sorted order. But in binary search, we must give the elements of the array in a sorted order. Then only you can apply the binary search in that array. Okay. Otherwise, you cannot apply the binary search in that array. Okay. And the another difference is in linear search, we have to search the element from the beginning one by one. So it will take more time. But in binary search, you have to start your search from the middle element. If you want to search the number 80, you can skip this left side elements. Okay. Because 80 is available on the right side of middle element. So you can skip this left side parts. Okay. So it will take less time to complete the search. This is the difference between linear and binary search. So let us see. What is the binary search? Binary search is also called as half interval search algorithm. Okay, half interval search. Linear search is also called as what? Sequential search. Okay, but binary search is also called as half interval search because here we are starting our search with the middle element. The elements are divided into two halves. It is used to find the position of a search element within a sorted array within a sorted array okay so the array should be sorted okay so if the elements are not sorted then you cannot apply the binary search to that array and next point it can be done by this binary search can be done by divide and conjure search algorithm okay in binary search, you are dividing the array elements in two halves. So, you call it as divide and conjure search algorithm. Okay. So, this is the pseudocode for the binary search. So, first we have to start with the middle element. Not from the beginning, you start with the middle element. So, how will you find the middle element? Using mid formula. Uh, using mid formula, you can find out the middle element. Okay. In next point, three cases are there. Okay. What are they? First case is, if the search element is equal to the middle element, if the search element is equal to the middle element of the array, then return the index position of the middle element. Okay. So, if a search element is equal to, search element is equal to middle element, which means you found your search element. Okay. So you print the index position of that element in the output. You stop your searching process here because you got the output. So you have to stop here the search. Okay. Otherwise, compare the middle element with the search element. How will you compare? This is the first case. Second case is if the search element is greater than, greater than the middle element, and next is what? If the search element is less than the middle element. Okay. Search element is equal to the middle element. Search element is greater than the middle element. And third case is search element is less than the middle element. So three cases can be there. If the search element is equal to the middle element. Which means you found that value. So it returns the index position of that search element in the output. Otherwise, if search element is greater than the middle element, which means what? If the search element is greater than the middle element, then select the elements to the right side of the middle element. Okay. If the search element is greater than the middle element, select the elements to the right side of the middle number. Okay. If search element is less than middle element, search element is less than the middle element you have to select the elements to the left side of the middle index okay after that go to step one again go to the step one step one means what 
again find out the middle element how will you find the middle element using mid formula okay then again check these three cases do the same procedure again and again until your search element is found after that when a match is found when a match is found display the success message with the index of the element matched so when you found the element you will get the index position of that element in the output if no match is found which means your search value is not available in that list for all comparisons then it will display the unsuccessful message unsuccessful message means what the element is not found that is the unsuccessful message okay if you found the element you, you will get the success message with the index position of that element okay? if none of the elements are matched it will display the unsuccessful message okay so this is the pseudo code for the binary search so let us see one example uh, this is the array okay. the collection of elements are given here the index position of these elements 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 this is the index positions you can see here the elements are sorted which means elements are given in the ascending order from lowest value to highest value okay so the list of sorted elements are given in the list so now let us assume suppose you are going to search the element 60 okay now you are going to search the element 60 and you have to find out the index position of this search element using binary search. So let us see the step by step operations of binary search. Here you have to start with the middle element. So how will you find the middle element? For that you have to find out the index position of the middle element using mid formula. What is the mid formula? See here this is the mid formula. Mid is equal to low plus high minus low divided by 2 okay this is the mid formula for finding the middle element this low means what lowest index position okay this high means highest index position the lowest index value is what 0 the highest index value is 9 so 9 minus lowest index value 0 divided by 2 0 plus 9 by 2 is equal to 9 by 2 means what 4.5 so you can avoid the fractional thoughts here you don't take fractional thoughts only take this part only so mid is what 4 this is the lowest position this is the highest position so, l means low h means high this 4 is the mid value of this array okay so see here which element is present at the index position 4 50 this is the middle element but your search element is what 60 so here you have to check three cases what are they first case is search value is what 60 is equal to 50 second case is search element is greater than 50 and third case is search element is less than 50 you have to check these cases which one is true 60 is equal to 50 this is not true and 60 is greater than the 50 this case is true so 60 is greater than 50 see here if the search element is greater than the middle element then the select the elements on the right side of the middle element okay so you have to select the right side elements you skip the elements to the left side of that middle element okay so middle element is what 50 okay this is the middle element so you have to select the elements to the right side of the middle element okay now you have to start from here now our new lowest value is what 5 here you have to write low is equal to mid plus 1 okay mid plus 1 so this is the lowest value and this is highest value you skip the left side elements from the middle element okay so you have to take these elements 60 70 80 90 99 now again find out the middle element how will you find using this mid formula mid formula is what mid is equal to low plus high minus low divided by 2 this is the lowest index position this is highest index position so now we are going to find out the mid value okay mid is equal to first low low means what 5 5 plus 
next high high means 9 and minus low 5 divided by 2 5 plus 9 minus 5 what 4 by 2 5 plus 2 is equal to 7 so now our new mid is what 7 okay see here our new mid is 7 which element is stored in the index position 7 80 okay so this is the mid middle element okay this is the middle element here this low is what mid plus 1 mid plus 1 because the lowest value increased and this lowest value comes after the mid here okay so this low becomes mid plus 1 so this is the lowest value this is highest value is now check these conditions okay what is the middle element now 80 and what is your search element 60 check the conditions first condition is what search element 60 is equal to 80 uh, search element 60 is greater than 80 third condition is search element 60 is less than 80 so check these cases first is 60 is equal to 80 this is not true then 60 is greater than 80 no this is also not true then 60 is less than 80 so yes this is true okay 60 is less than 80 so if search element is less than the middle number then we select the elements to the left side of the middle index okay so we have to select the left side elements here we selected right side elements because um, this search element is greater than the middle elements okay but now you have to select the elements that are present left side of the middle element which one is middle element this is okay so you have to select the elements left side okay and skip the elements on the right side skip these elements okay skip these elements you, you have to select the elements to the left side of the middle element okay left side this is right side this is left side so, so left side elements means and these two elements okay. okay you select this elements only okay this is the 70 so now you have only two elements okay now you follow the same procedure again uh, here we have only these two elements okay so the highest value becomes here so here high becomes mid minus one because the highest value decreases and the highest value comes before the mid so the high becomes mid minus one okay so this is the lowest value this is the highest value this two okay so now I'm going to calculate mid formula mid is equal to what lowest value 5 plus highest value 6 minus lowest value 5 divided by 2 so 5 plus 1 by 2 is equal to 5 you don't take fractional values so 5 is the index position our new mid is what 5 okay see here which value is stored in the index position 5 60 so now you have to check the conditions first condition is 60 is search element is 60 our middle element is also middle element is also what 60 and the second case is 60 is greater than 60 and third case is 60 is less than 60 so here which condition is true this is so we found the search element okay this is the search element its index position is what its index position is 5 so here you stop your search because you found your search value so now we conclude that the search element 60 is found at the location 5 which means found at the index position 5 so here we got the successful result but if you want to search the element 95 see here 95 is not available in this list for this value the bi this binary search algorithm returns unsuccessful result okay so this is about the binary search this is very important question it is more important than the linear search